Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam Ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen Amma ba'du Then this hadith Which is hadith number 14 Right Bayanu Hukmi Istiqbali Istiqbali Al-Qiblati Wa istidbariha Wa istidbariha The the Clarification Of the hukum Of the ruling Of istiqbal From qaf ba lam Meaning Meaning uh, Like the word Qibla Right Qibla is called That word It's called Qibla the direction we face because that's the direction that we face right that's the direction that we face right it's not the east it's not the west it's not the north it's not the south right in different parts of the world it's different places in china they face the west in america they face northeast right in in uh, europe they face some parts of europe they might face south right some parts of Africa or maybe uh, Maldives or somewhere like that they face north right so the Qibla is the place that you face so here is the form 10 from Qaf Ba Lam meaning to face the hukum of facing of putting yourself in that direction Al Qibla is Al Qibla putting yourself in the Qibla Wa istidbariha Istidbar coming from Dal ba ra The same idea But Dabara is to be your backside So turning your back Turning your back To it Ha here being the Qibla Turning your back to the Qibla So we have the house of Allah here Right We have the Kaaba Right And it is We're talking about the ruling of Facing, right, or putting your backside, right, to the Qibla. Hal Qadai Al Hajati. At the time, Hal Hal Qadai Al Hajati. At the time of relieving oneself, of taking care of one's needs, as we said, right, of Fulfilling a need, right? meaning using the restroom. Be bowling, o gaitin. At the time of urinating or defecating, can we face the qibla while urinating or defecating? And can we turn our backs to the qibla while urinating or defecating? Al Hadith al Rabi Ashar. The 14th hadith on Abi Ayyub al Ansari. Ayyub is Mamnum in a sarf. It is Mudafile, however, it's Majrur with a Fatha. Right? Al Ansari. Right? An Abi Ayyub al Ansari. From Abu Ayyub al Ansari, radiallahu anhu, qala, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa he said, Ida ataytum, Ida, when ataytum, from ata, meaning to come, right? To come, Ida ataytum, and when you guys come, plural, ataytum, you guys, al ghaita, al ghait, up here we translate it as defecation. Here, we have an out of lamb, and it could be the word ghaet can mean akramakumullah, this pile of stuff that comes out, right? Or it could be the place where you do that, right? It's also called al khala, as we learned in the previous hadith. Al khala, al ghaet is the place where you go to. Relieve yourself, right? 
And we do the same thing in English with a filthy word. I can't think of us doing it with a clean word. But the S, the sugar honey iced tea word, right? The sugar honey iced tea word, right? We say, some people say they're going to the sugar honey iced tea ER, right? I'm going to the that place, right? So this place where you do this at, where you do that action also is the name of the place, right? It's also the name of the place, right? So, if you come to what? To the ga'it, the place where you're going to get rid of the ga'it, right? You can come to that place. Yes, you know, that waste. Right, okay, this is bowl is urine this is defecation right if you come to that place it's known it's known as that place because that's what you do there right then do not it's a command this is a negation a prohibition then do not face al qibla do not face what al qibla mafulun bihi bi ghaitin with defecation wala bowling or urine do not face the qibla when doing this defecation or urinating right wala tastadbiruha and do not turn your back towards it meaning the qibla ha here is the qibla walakin sharriqu أو غربوا لكن شرقوا أو غربوا but but شرقوا coming from شين راقاف like مشرق but rather turn east right أو غربوا or west right turn east or west Right, turn east or west. Here, we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn, inshallah ta'ala. We're gonna learn. Okay, that would be facing or turning your back to the Kippler. We're, like. we're, we're gonna learn. Just give it a second. <laughs> I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you, but we just give it a second. There's a, there's a reason for it. Right? Qala Abu Ayyub. Abu Ayyub, he said. Right, he said. Fakadimna Sham. So we came to Sham. Kadimna. We approached. We came to Asham. Meaning Syria, uh, Jordan, Palestine, those countries, right? This is called Asham. So we came to Sham. Right, فَقَدِمْنَا الشَّامِ So we came to, from قَدِمَا Right, to come to, 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 to face فَقَدِمْنَا الشَّامِ So we came to, not, not to face, but to come to, to approach Right, we basically yeah, entered Sham فَوَجَدْنَا From وَجَدَ To find فَوَجَدْنَا So we found مَرَاحِيدَ We found, what? This is مَفُولُ بِهِ It's the plural of مِرْحَاب Mirhad is basically the bathroom, the toilet. Today we say this is the mirhad, right? We say this is the mirhad. Back then, you know, this is also the mirhad if you have a, a squatter, right? If you have a squatter in the ground. Marahi, the toilet, right? We found, fawajadna marahida, we found toilets, qad buniyat, from bana. Right, like Buni al Islam ala khams. There's feminine because mir marahid is plural and it is in, non intellectual. That they were built. Nahwa, nahwa means towards. Nahwa means towards. Towards al Kaaba. So they had this. And when they went to Sham up here. They found that the toilets were facing the bathrooms when you went in there. They were facing the Kaaba. Right? 
فَنَنْ حَرِفُ from حَا رَا فَا right and, and, it, and it becomes root uh, form 7 in harafa right harafa uh, in harafa means to turn away so someone who does bid'a is called munharaf he turned away from the sunnah here fanan harifu so we used to fanan harifu we used to turn away so the toilet would be i'm just going to build an american toilet right the toilet would be facing the Qibla instead of just sitting on the toilet like we sit. You know, you sit here with your legs here. They would sit and turn to the side. They wouldn't just use the toilet as it was. Rather, they would turn away. They would turn themselves away. Right? فَنَنْ harifu anha. They would turn away from it, meaning from the Qibla, from the Kaaba. وَنَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ عَزَ وَجَلَ And we would seek Allah's forgiveness. And we would seek Allah's forgiveness. Now, I don't know. I've never tried it. But, you know, hopefully we never have to. Alhamdulillah, this is uh, something that a Muslim should would pay attention to. But if we had a toilet like this, like we have, it would probably be kind of hard to sit this way. Allah knows best. Not that bad, but it would be a little difficult because the the the, the toilet is elongated like this, and now you got this little bitty area. You see what I'm saying? Instead of being long like this, now you just got this smaller area. So it would be difficult. So they used to turn away some fanan harifu. We used to turn away anha from it, meaning from the Kaaba. We would seek Allah's forgiveness. Here he says, Sharriqu o gharibu. This is Abdullah's issue here, right? Here we have a map of Saudi Arabia. Right? Basically. Here's Yemen. Right? Here's um, um, Oman. Or here's Oman here. Right? In the Emirates. And here's Dola to Kuwait, mashallah. Right? May Allah preserve all of our countries. Here's Mecca. Right? Here's Mecca. And here is Medina. So, when you face east or west, right? You're facing Shariqu. Gharibu. Right? You're facing Sharriku al Gharibu. Then you're facing the east or the west, and you're away from the Kaaba. If you face this way, if you tastak bilu al Qibla, you're facing Mecca. Yeah. If you face south, you're facing Mecca. If you face north, tastad biruha, then you're putting your back towards it. Right, so he goes. To, so he goes to tell us here. It tajihu to face Nahwul Mashrik o al Maghrib. It tajat from wajha. Right, your wedge is your face because it's just like the word istakbal or istikbal, uh, uh, meaning the, the word qibla where you put your face towards it. It tajihu to turn towards to put your face Nahwul Mashrik al Maghrib. To put your face to turn towards the east or the west. Wahada bi nisbati ahlil Medina al Munawwara. And this is regarding bi nisba. We say bi nisba. We say bi nisbati li. As for me, regarding me, then this is what I think. Bi nisba. Bi nisbati li ahl Medina. This is regarding the people of Medina. Right? As for. The people over here in say, this is the man. So even if they shariku gharibu, they're still not hitting Mecca. But we'll say the people of UAE over here, right? People of UAE, if they shariku gharibu, if they gharibu, then they're facing it. If they shariku, then they're istad biruha, then they're facing, then they're putting their backs towards it. 
right? So they have to face north or south, right? Someone over here and say Egypt or Cyprus or whatever the place might be here. I don't know exactly what's across. It's a uh, part of uh, Egypt, lower Egypt. This is lower Egypt right here up above. This is Egypt here. And then this down here would be Sudan. Right? This is Sudan down here. And this is Misr. If you're up in these corners, if you face east, then you're going to face the Qibla. Istakbiluha. If you face the west, if you shot if you gharibu, then you're going to be put in your back. Istadbiruha. So for them, they need to go north and south. Right? As for us in America, we're way over there somewhere. Then we face this way, northeast. We want to make sure that we're facing, say, if we build our houses, we want to make sure our toilets face southwest. Right? South, no, southeast or uh. southeast or northwest. As much as possible. As much as possible. Because we north face... North and south would be good. Huh? North and south would be good. North and south would be fine. We pray like this, though. Yeah. So if we pray straight north, then you... But if you want to go on an angle, as he did, like basically, you got east and west, and you got north and south, you got 90 degree angles in all these corners. If you want to make the 90 degree angle, then you would go south, east, and northwest. And wherever you are. Well, in, so, nah. From in, where we at, we face the northeast. We face northeast. So if you we face this way, so if you so we went north and south, we'd be fine. So we, if you went, you you'd north, be you'd west, be fine. Southeast, you'll be fine. But you yeah. would not have your ninety degree angles here. And I'm not saying that's what you have to have. I'm just saying you want to turn away from it. You see what he did? He explains here, non harifu. We would turn away some. We would turn away from it. Not that they would, not that they would uh, 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 turn all away, but they would turn somewhat away from it. Wasn't a stuck fit Allah, and we would seek forgiveness of Allah. So you want to be as much away from facing it as possible. You understand? So this is why I'm saying this 90 degree thing, but it doesn't have to be exact. Anyway, there's a big there's a big difference when we're talking about. Uh, uh, there's a big difference when we're talking about India as well. If they face some places in India, I'm looking on a map here. If they face east or west, depending on where they're at, they're going to face Mecca or, or turn away from it, right? They'll, they'll face it or turn away from it in Mecca, right, if, if the people in India. Anyway, there's a big discussion on if there's a wall, right? If there's a wall and this is outside, or if it's in if it's indoors, do we have to do it or not? Right? Can, does this count if we're indoors? Many people say no, but we can see here that they had bathhouses in Asham. They were inside their houses. They were inside the buildings, and yet they still turned away. That the Sahaba did not consider the fact that it was inside the house that they did not need to follow this. Right. Although many of the scholars, I would even say maybe the majority of them say if you have a wall built or a building built around the toilet and there's a big wall here, you're not facing the Kaaba directly, then there's no problem. Right. But here we see the Sahaba that even though they were far away in Asham, thousand miles, long weeks of journey. And there were buildings and everything in between them and the Kaaba. They still turned away and did not consider that sufficient. That uh, they did not have to follow this ruling. Min fawaidi wa ahkam al hadith from the benefits and the rulings of the hadith. An nahyu, the prohibition on istiqbal al qiblati, on facing the qibla or istadbiriha. Or, or turning your back towards it, hala at the time of, or the condition of boli, of gaiti, of urine, or defecation, meaning that there is a prohibition for that, right? But sometimes, 
a prohibition is means it's makruh and sometimes it means it's haram right here it says wa nahyu inda jamhur al ulama the nahyu the prohibition here is for being haram lit it is for making it haram meaning as we said sometimes there's a prohibition and that prohibition means it's makruh means it's just disliked it's not it's not forbidden yet it's disliked that's it here and nahyu lit is for prohibition is for haram inda with jamhur the majority of the ulama the majority of them say that this is not just a something which is makruh rather it's haram as the sahaba used to seek forgiveness thanian husnu ta'lim husnu ta'limi an nabiyyi sallallahu alaihi wasallam the good ta'lim the good education the good teaching of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam li annahu because he lamma dhakara lamma dhakara because when he mentioned al mamnu'a when he mentioned al mamnu' from mim nun ain meaning something prohibited something which is forbidden or prohibited for instance there are certain things which something mamnu' means prohibited here it has the meaning of haram because we're talking about this but for instance uh for instance um I'm trying to think of something. We'll, we'll use, for instance, cigarettes, even though cigarettes are haram. But for instance, say someone argues the cigarettes are not haram. Right? But inside the airport, they're memnur. Inside an airplane, they're memnur. They're prohibited. That doesn't mean they're haram, but it's memnur. So for instance, uh, uh, when you make ihram, when making hajj, you're supposed to uncover your shoulder. Right? It's not haram to cover your shoulder. But it's memnu' here. It's prohibited. It's not haram where you're earning a sin, but it's prohibited here at this particular time. So memnu' means prohibited, and here it means haram, but it can also have the meaning of Something is prohibited in a certain or specific place. You know, for instance, it might be memnur to eat, to eat in a building somewhere. Doesn't mean it's haram to eat in that building. It doesn't mean that it's you can't drink soda in here. It's haram. You're earning a sin for drinking a soda at this place. But it is memnur. It is prohibited at that time. Right? The end of Lemma Dakara al Memnur, when he mentioned the prohibited thing. Arshada from form four of Rashid Sheen Dal Arshada il al Jaizi Arshada 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 Yurshidu meaning to point or to guide il al Jaiz from Jean Wow Zay meaning to be permissible right he pointed to the permissible so he didn't just tell us it's prohibited to face or turn your back towards the qibla it's prohibited well then what do we do no he didn't say that then, then you're lost what do i do well i can't face it i can't turn my back what do i do no he not only told you what's prohibited but he also told you the solution right just like in the hadith of al-irbad ibn isariya radiallahu anhu in which he told the 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 which he said which irbad he said the Prophet ﷺ gave us a speech which made our eyes tear and our hearts swell up, our hearts shake and be nervous, right? As if it. So we said, "O oh, Messenger of Allah, this is if it's as if it was a farewell speech. So advise us." So he said, "He said, those of you live long amongst me are going to see many differences, right? Many differences. You're going to see it." So he told us, "What's the issue? You're going to see many differences. What is this?" He said. So stick to my sunnah. So he didn't just give us the problem. He gave us the solution. I remember one brother. I seen it was a long time ago. He had on shorts. And his shorts were above the knee. Right? They were above the knee. 
And one brother came yelling at him. Man, what you got on them shorts for, man? That's haram, man. Don't you know you can't be outside showing your odor off, man? Blah, blah, blah. And another brother, he came up, he said, Achi, why don't you go get him a pair of sweatpants instead of yelling at him? Maybe you don't have nothing but those shorts, man. Why don't you go get him a pair of pants or some longer shorts and, 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 and you know, make it easy on him. So don't just provide the problem, provide the solution. Don't just point out what's wrong. Rather, point out the solution as the Prophet ﷺ did here. Husnu ta'lim in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam li anna al mamnu' arshada ila al jaiz. Any questions? La. Hadha wa Allah ta'ala alam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.